all right guys so in today's video um i got a package so it was sent to 123 sesame street elmo's world uh feel free to mail all your papa john's there dominoes whatever you guys mail people who you die what could it be <laughs> so yeah if it wasn't obvious already i just got my quest 3 in the mail which is a uh, really cool and really amazing because now i can finally use it and i'm making this unboxing video i'm also gonna be rating it later in this video i'm gonna be playing it in gorilla tag just to tell you how i feel about it but uh, yeah so far it looks really cool let's take it out i'm gonna try and savor the packaging dude these can oh this dude this is so dude these controllers feel amazing i'm not gonna lie i can't wait to be able to play gorilla tag with them not gonna lie guys this is gonna be epic this is gonna be epic oh also because you guys are such rats i'm gonna do a height reveal so um Give me a second. I'm going to do a mark on the wall and I'll show you guys how tall I am. Pencils on top of my head. Okay, I made a mark. I made a mark right there. That's where the pencil is. Uh, so now I get the tape measure. So we're going to just bring it up. There's five feet. There's six feet. Bring it up straight. And let's see, where are we? Oh yeah, we're right about in between 6'4 and 6'5. We'll just say 6'4 because it's probably a little bit off because I messed it up, but. All right guys, so now we're in game on the Quest 3. Um, Honestly, the graphics and stuff, they look more polished. Uh, I'm really liking it. Um, By the way, if the Guardian's in the video, uh, so far there's no way to remove it from the video. So I'm gonna have to probably just like expand it or like remove it so it's not in the video. But for now, just bear with me. I'm still figuring out how to do recording something like this. Uh, but yeah, Quest 3 is really good for um visuals and stuff. Um, the headset itself, like the actual like thing in your head, very good. The controllers on the other hand, they're not bad. They do have a couple gimmicks to them. They have a couple like issues with them. So let me come over here. I'm gonna show you. So the first problem with it is that if you grip the control normally, like where your thumb would be, like on this part of the controller, like where your thumb buttons are, like the A, B, X, Y buttons, and you just like let me just run on ground. I'm just gonna do this. As you can tell, I popped up and lost track. And let me do it again so you guys can see. I don't know if you could see, but my hands started like moving slowly farther away from each other. Like this hand was like way over here, even though I didn't really do that. So the tracking is not amazing if you hold the controllers normally. However, if you put your thumb on this button right here, like the button that would do this one. So just like figure it's, it's the one like on like the stem of the controller. Put your thumb on that. You don't have to hold it down. I hold it down. Then it makes you lose tracking less because whenever your thumb on the top of the controller, it blocks some of the tracking sensors. So I'm just going like this. Like if I run like this with my hands on top, like normal. Oh, I turn one sec. So I start moving like weird. That's just gonna happen. If I go like this, it's much better. You still lose tracking every once in a while, but it's really not that bad. But if you, but I recommend you, you can hold grip the controller any way you want, but don't have your hand on the top because like with near these buttons, because it'll probably make you track worse. 3K special will be coming soon. I know it's like really late. The thing is, as you guys know, I had a lot of tech issues and. I know I said on like on my YouTube announcements like, oh, it'll be fixed soon. It took longer than expected to be fixed. It's um it's fixed as the time I'm recording this on Quest 3. So we'll be able to edit it and get it all good. Um and I wanna try and live stream potentially starting soon. Like every week or other every other week. Now that my computer's fixed. Because before my headset was broken for two months, which sucked. Then my computer internet was broken for a while. But um, finally everything's fixed and working good. So um, yeah, I'll probably start doing that again. But um, yeah, honestly, if I'm gonna give this like headset a review out of ten, for Gorilla Tag. Okay, so if you're playing other games, like I play a lot of Steam VR and I play like other games, so this is worth it for me because I'm playing other games. If you're literally only playing Gorilla Tag, and I guess like Beat Saber too, I don't think you need it because it's just so much. Like it's just so much. Like it's just so much money for like for no reason. However, if you're playing other games like me, a 
along with Grill Tag or Beat Saber. And by the way, the reason I'm bundling Grill Tag and Beat Saber is because those are the only two games that I've had tracking issues with that I've tested. So, yeah, honestly, uh, if you play other games besides those two, I would recommend it. If you're a first time headset buyer, like you haven't, you don't have a Quest 2 or 3, I'd think about what games you want to do before like you do it because Quest 3 will look better for like every game. But again, tracking might be a little worse. Bye.